Well, this one is kind of a funny one because in between all the parentheses, all we have is plus signs. So the parentheses are kind of redundant. They don't matter. They don't mean anything. They don't make any difference. And if we get rid of those parentheses, it becomes fairly obvious that a lot of this just cancels out and all you're left with in the end is a half minus one sixth. Now you learned when you were in elementary school that you should find the common denominator uh, to add or subtract fractions that have different denominators, but I'm going to show you a slightly different approach here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this expression by a factor of six because that's going to be convenient for me. Basically the idea is I don't want to have fractions. I, I don't like fractions. I prefer not to have them. And so to get rid of all the denominators here, I'm going to expand the whole thing. Think of it as zooming into your Google Maps on your smartphone. I'm zooming in by a factor of six. And then at the end, I just have to divide back out by six. Otherwise, I'm changing the, the answer, I'm changing the value of the expression. So I'm multiplying everything by six. And then at the end, I'll divide everything by six. So this is what it would look like. Six times, in parentheses, half minus one-sixth, all divided by six. So we end up with 3 minus 1 over 6, so that's 2 sixths or 1 third, and that's the answer. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book, it's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time!